Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In the last couple of months since I've started these tutorials, I've had plenty of emails asking how to achieve different effects in Adobe Audition 3.0. Today, I'm going to show you the most popular of all effects I get asked about. That is the robotic voice. How do you achieve the perfect robot voice in Adobe Audition 3.0? Take a listen to the voice I recorded earlier. Not very robotic yet. I am a robot. How can I help you? If you're an Adobe Audition 3.0 veteran, you may already have noticed a few robotic presets, like, for instance, effects, modulation, flanger, and there it is, robotic presets. But let's have a listen. I am a robot. How can I help you? I... To be honest, it's not very creative, is it? No, we could do a lot better than that. So, copy your first wave that you recorded, start a new waveform, Paste it, then go into Effects, Time and Pitch, Stretch, and raise the pitch of it. Use the Raise Pitch preset. Then start a new wave, and paste that original wave. Effects, Time and Pitch, Stretch, Lower Pitch. So you'll have three waves now, and if you go to the multi-track, you'll see them there. The original that you recorded initially the one with the higher pitch, and the one with the lower pitch. Pull them all in and make sure they're all synced up exactly. Then you'll have a robot voice. I am a robot. How can I help you? Now that sounds like something we can use. And if you want to be a little more clever and you're listening in stereo, just pull the pan across on the second track, pull the pan across the other way on the third track, play and you've got a stereo robot. I am a robot. How can I help you? Well, I think that's enough excitement for one day. There will be more tutorials here soon from musicradiocreative.com.